You're ready. Go. Cricket Ireland TV, welcome to the to the uh, sixth floor of the hotel here. We're on the eve of the big game, and uh, players are relaxed. Uh, training's gone really well. We just had a gentle run through this morning. Bowlers uh, bowled out in the middle, and batters had a ten minute hit each. Um, there's one man that's really uptight about tomorrow's game, and it's uh, Robert Torrance, our manager. And we're just outside his room. He doesn't know we're coming in, so we'll have a chat with him ahead of tomorrow's game here. Robert. Believe it or not, this is having some admin work. And uh, well, look what he's got on the TV here. Have a look. WWE Raw Wrestling by the ladies. That's Robert's afternoon viewing. Robert. I don't remember saying come in. Robert, your door's always open. My door's always open. I, I don't want now, eh? Well, no, 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 more money. <laughs> now, when he, he didn't pay the last loan we gave you. So when am I expecting to get that back? Robert, listen. We're about to start tomorrow. Start of the big, the big games tomorrow. Yes. Players are very relaxed, but we're worried about you. Really? Yeah. You're worried about me. This is you're I'm the most playing. You know, I, I know. I failed the fitness test. I'm not going well, to play. Well, I think it's one of uh, cricket's great travel travel stays that you have never played in a World Cup. Well, I thought that myself too. I mean, the World Cup missed out there, didn't it? Yeah. That I yeah. wasn't able to play in it. You know, but. Seeing the shape of some of you boys, you haven't given up hope yet, you know. What would you have brought to the team tomorrow? What would I have brought to the team about A bit of flamboyancy, a bit of... Uh, entertainment? Yeah, a bit of entertainment. I would have played with a smile on my face, you know. Yes. Would, would you have opened the batting or opened the I would do lots of things that you boys don't do, you know. I, would have, uh, I wouldn't have eaten with my cap on, you know. I wouldn't throw bums around the dining table. I would have missed out. You're a class act all around then, really, aren't you? Well, people would say that, you know. You know? Well, tell me this, on a more serious note, how do you think we're going to go? Let's, think, let's not look any further ahead than tomorrow. I think it's going to be very important. And it's, it's a bit ironic that after the amount of work and whatnot that we've put in over the last couple of months, I think that there's going to be a lot to pay in the toss head coin yeah. tomorrow. Okay. And I really do think that uh, everyone's a toss is going in with a huge advantage. 16 of the last games played day night in that ground, 13 have been won by the team man in second. Yeah. And I think that tells a story, there's a story there, you know. But uh, having said that, if we lose a toss and have to bat first, we have to make the best of it. So be it. Uh, Surely we can draw confidence from the preparations. Oh, I'm, I've, I've never been involved in a side so well prepared, so fit, and as good an Irish side, you know. But having said that, you know, we're playing the World Cup now against the big boys now, and. Uh, you know, I, well, I have no doubt that uh, our guys, uh, they've raised their game before and they will do it again. And, uh, you know, uh, if I were Bangladesh, I'd be worried because we seem to have the Indian sign on them now, you know. Yeah, I hope that's right. But before we finish, I think 2007, and a lot has been mentioned about 2007, but I think it's crucial now that uh, we move on and try and forget about 2007 because this is, obviously, we've got to talk about it here and now. Oh, very much. I mean, 2007 was wonderful at the time, but now it's in the record books and it's gone, you know. I mean, uh, half of this team weren't, weren't here, weren't at the World Cup in 2007. But, you know, I think this side's good enough now to, to emulate what happened in 2007 and take us a step further. Yeah. Well, here, make sure you have your boots in. Leave the bat here because, quite frankly, I've really? heard stories that you're batting in the northwest. Well, right? have you? Uh, I've been looking at you in the nets recently, <laughs> and the bat's the first thing that I'm going to put. Roy, in the I just wish I was going out to bat against you tomorrow. That's the bottom line. Why? So do I. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. All right.